welcome back everybody hey we look like three stooges out here <laughs> we're getting ready to get in the vehicle and go down the road here and do a set hopefully we can get a coyote down got my neighbor here got tommy lee me and tommy's been putting a few down here for y'all lately we got back in the mode even though it's summertime hot and sticky and the bugs are out so is the zombie so we get out try to put us one down tonight hopefully we have a good night we'll do one or two sets maybe three see what happens sorry about the lighting it's just bad conditions here but we are rolling in the dark so here we go Spotted this big male coyote here with the thermal scanner. Quickly jumped on my rifle. Now if you've ever came from a thermal and then looked directly into your night vision optic, you're gonna have to agree with me that your eye just takes just a second to get focused. Now this coyote's pushing an estimated 275, 300 yards. Not really sure at this point. But he's not looking too great in this corn stubble that's out in this field. It's just giving him enough camouflage where it's kind of hard to focus. Got the XXL Reaper lighting him up. So I got no issues there. It's just getting my eye focused. And you can see how well he's blending in the corn. This is a mature male coyote. I've been after him for a long time. He's just kind of hanging around, but he's just not really convinced as what's going on. You'll see here he goes to leave. I'll get him stopped one more time. I'm gonna put it high, right behind the shoulder. Give him the old death shot. And away he goes. Alright man, me and Tommy Lee come out here again tonight. It's May the 31st. Temperature dropped down in the 60s. We got on the hoodies. I got on the toboggan the vest. Man, it cooled down. But slipped out here. This is set number one. Got my neighbor with me. He's trying to pick up on a few tips. Why not just take him out and show him the ropes, right? <laughs> so what happened was we come out here on the first stand and just slipped in quiet. You know, didn't make a lot of noise, did some scanning. We set up, started out with pup vocals, did some howls, did some, um, you know, mom and pup howls, and just gradually worked our way into some sounds. Didn't really go to distress. Ended up seeing a couple check up in different directions. They gave us a run around. One of them ended up coming up by, I guess that was in front of us, because that's technically behind us. And uh, Tommy fired off a round. We can't. We're going to look for it a little bit here and see if he hit it because it jumped straight up, looked like he hit it. We stayed hooked, stayed on the call, kept calling. And then this other this other dog came out from across the road and we lost it. I don't know where it went. Finally, I look back and this big male here, it's probably a three-year-old male, comes out of the woods, checks up, and I put a poke on him. We just did our live feed on Facebook, but I'm shooting a 50-grain 22-250 Superformance Hornady 
at 4,000 feet a second. Pulled the trigger, had a slight hesitation before I heard that thump. Y'all know what that thump means, so we're guesstimating 275, 300 yards, don't know. Specialized Dynamics 22, 250, kill number three. Probably three. Two, two confirmed. Yeah. Pretty sure on number three. Loving it. Just loving it. That's all I got to say. We're going to go pick up a coyote. Then me and my neighbor is going to get on there and yap about it. Here we go. All right, we're going to walk up on this coyote here and check him out. I had to break out the thermal to find him. We were such a long ways off, and there was a little rise in the field here. I seen him go over the hill, but that's the last I seen of him in the thermal. And I told Tommy and him, I said, we're going to have to walk out there because... You know, he may just be over there, I can't tell. But as soon as I got up here, I seen a little speck of black and turned out to be a big old blob of black, which is what we want, like on black hot. There he lays. Check him out. That's a nice one, too. See these teeth right here, Tommy? Look at these teeth with your camera. I guess to make him be about three years old, if I had to guess. He's got some more down teeth, maybe two, I'd say three. But he's a heavy, you know, he's a big looking dog. Put it right in the boiler maker, for sure. Yep, male. Pick him up. Oh, look at that. Beast. That light hurting. Yeah. Pretty cool deal. Well, I got my neighbor here with me. You guys seen him in a groundhog video that I put out the other day. And <laughs> he's wanting to get into this coyote hunting. Man, we've been trying to hook up even though he lives next door. It ain't always that easy. <laughs> so, I'm always out, you're always out. <laughs> yeah, so talk about, you did, a, you did a stand tonight. You did two stands before I met up with you. I did two stands tonight, set up on the first stand, had Four or five pups calling back. Couldn't see nothing. Couldn't get them out of the woods. Sat there probably about an hour on that one. Bailed out. Went across the farm to another stand. Set up shop. It got to be a little late. It's probably 10.30 when I texted you, wasn't it, when I was going yeah. to that new stand. It's about 10.30. Get over there. Got two dogs. They're coming in about 200 yards out. I get them to about 100 yards get the red light on them, get them beamed up, go to pull the trigger and the light goes dead. So here we are now. <laughs> yeah, so he met up with us. He said he wanted to hunt with Team Zombie. So we took him out. This is our first set, had two dogs come in. We had a lot of action so far. We're gonna get out again. And it's about, what do you say, it's one o'clock in the morning already? It's one o'clock. So we got a late start, but it's, you know, it's in the lower 60s. It's supposed to hit 59, Tommy. Yeah, it's supposed so. to drop 59. Right about daylight, I think. They're so. out and they're moving tonight. Yeah, they're moving good. So, man, we're going to keep going. This is the first one. I'm going to let the neighbor do the honors and drag him back. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, I, something I do want to say real quick. I don't want to keep blabbing, but we hunted this spot a few times during regular season. There was a male that always pulled the reins on the rest of the crew. Every time they would start coming, this male would howl. And they, them coyotes would lock up when they tommy. Yep. Every time. I don't know that this is him. So quick. I don't know that this is him. He didn't let out any vocals tonight. So it, it's possible that this is him. If it is, it's really going to benefit us because these other coyotes, you know, they're not under the control of him. So maybe they'll slip up. That's all we need them to do, make a mistake like this old boy did. I'm going to put them down, boys. Huh? All right. What do you think? You ready to go get <laughs> I'm one? psyched. I'm <laughs> ready to shoot me one. Y'all get down, boys. Let's go get another one. Yeah. I'm hook him around the back way. Cinch it tight. There you go. What do you think, bud? That's one down, baby. One A down. whole lot more to go. Let's go try it again. <laughs> what do you do? Just drag him through the damn field? Just drag him, buddy. He ain't going to walk. He ain't going to fly. <laughs> Well, it's 3.44 in the morning. Everybody's pulling out. Getting ready to put up the 22.250 for the night. Loving this gun, man. 
Only got one crack at it tonight. Killed one 300 yards. That's my third coyote that I've killed in a week. All three with this new gun. Gonna put her up for the night. Let her rest. I'm gonna catch a couple hours rest. Got a big day with the family in the morning. And that's why we're called Team Zombie. We'll walk around like zombies, balance our life out, and have a good time hunting. Appreciate you guys. Here Kyle's still howling. That's seed for another day. We will catch you guys down the road. Holding a coyote. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, we forgot the critter getter. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>